Now we're going to create a gizmo. A gizmo is a way to schedule a crystal or SSRS report. So I am just going to give my gizmo a name. And save it. I can add tags to a gizmo to see who can view this report. Um, I can give the gizmo a description and I can also assign a gizmo to a board. And a board is a way to categorize your gizmos. So you can put it on a sales board, you could put it on an HR board, for example, and that would just make it easier for any users to see which reports were assigned to them and which reports they could run. So we will put this on our daily sales report. Is the gizmo enabled or disabled? If it's enabled, it means it will run based on the criteria selected. If it is disabled, it means that the gizmo will not run unless a user comes into in Telefront and manually runs it or changes the status. What we're going to do is save the gizmo and then we're going to add a crystal report to the gizmo in this example. So what I want to do is I want to add a report file. And I'm going to choose a sample crystal report. And I'm going to upload the report. And you'll see here the report details. The name of the report is the top 20 companies. That has come directly from the crystal report. If you want to change it, you can. You simply overtype it here. You can add a report description if you wanted to. Completely optional, but it will help users determine what each report will show them. You can run the report with saved data, um, or you can run it live with live data from the actual database. Is the report enabled or disabled? Check or uncheck this box. Again, you can add tags to the individual reports. To the right hand side you here, you can see that you set up credentials. So if there is a login required for the report, you would set that here. Um, we are going to choose an output for the report, so I'm going to select add an output. And if you scroll down, you will see here that the output default is PDF. If you want to change that, use the drop down option here. And these are the options available for output formats for a crystal report. So I'm happy with PDF, so I'm going to leave it. If you want to customize the output by adding bookmarks, you can do that here. If you want to add a page range, so you only want to output pages 10 to 20, you can set that information here. I'm then going to save the report. Okay, and I'm going to save the report and close because there is nothing else for me to set up here. Now what I have the option to do is I could also add an SSRS report to this package if I wanted to. I don't for this example, but I do want to add a trigger for this particular report. So we select add a trigger. And the name for my trigger is going to be daily. So we will just save the name for my trigger. And we select daily. And my start date is going to be tomorrow. And the time that I want this particular report to run is at and I have to put in two digits there, so seven, and let's have it seven. Oh, well. And I'm going to run it in the morning. Use the following account to run the report. So I am going to use this account to run the report. And how often do you want this report to run? I actually want mine to run daily, so I'm going to select every day. If you wanted it to run every other day, you would select every two days. Um, and you can change that to suit your, your requirements. So I'm going to save the trigger. Okay, and save and close. So, so far I've selected a name. I've selected who can see it. It's enabled. I've chosen a crystal report and I've set a trigger. Now I need to add a destination. So now we want to add a destination 
and we're going to choose email destination. So we will write um, the email address. I also need to give my destination a name. And the email account, I'm going to use Office 365. The subject is your daily sales report. And here you can configure your email. Um, if you wanted to um, format the font, the text, um, you can do that here. And you can check this box to say it is an HTML format or not. And then you would simply save the destination. I didn't like my destination, so let's... Hmm. and save it and save and close so this is it we have the crystal report set to run it's set to run daily and it's set to be sent to an email um, if you want to execute the schedule ad hoc you would select run if you want to add another trigger another destination or a data driver or an SSRS report you would do that from here. The next thing we're going to have a look at is workflows. Workflows are, um, for want of a better word, event-based schedules. So if you want something to happen based on an event, um, for example, if you want an email to be sent when a database record changes, we would do that through a workflow. So to set up a workflow, we need to give it a name. Oops. We can add a description. And again, you can add a tag and then you choose to select an action. So I want to send an email and we can add more actions or we can build an email. So I'm gonna build the email. has changed I'm going to give it a title and then you compose your email so we will do VBR has changed for example and I'm going to save the email then what we need to do is we need to add a feed so what is going to make us send an email um, and we're going to look at a database and we're going to monitor the database for if a new record has been added so I will choose my database and I want to say if a new record has been added then I want to send an email um, and that's going to be my workflow and I will save it the next thing we want to create is a board you can create as many boards as you want to um, and to create a board you click new board and you add a name for the board. Company board. Okay, and you select a color. And I'm going to choose purple. And then who can see this? I'm going to make it available to all users of IntelliFront. Now with the board, the idea is, is that you add gizmos to it to categorize it. So you can add gizmos at this time of setting up the board so we will add gizmos and the gizmos that i want to add is demo um, and we will save the board let's go back into my workshop my automation and my boards 
So there are my new boards and they have different gizmos for different parts of the company. Now we're going to look at administration. Administration is where you will look at error logs. So if something has happened within IntelliFront, um, you can access the information here. You can also view the gizmo history. Um, so if anything has executed and when the last time it ran was, you will be able to see that here. Settings is where you can customize IntelliFront. Um, this is where you can choose colors to filter your reports if you wanted to. So these are the different colors available. Um, and this is will show up on the reports tab. Email, so all accounts system-wide will come from this particular email. So you can choose that from here. Tag colors, and this will show up on the individual report. So if you want to add a color to a particular report, as well as a name tag, throughout the demonstration, we've added tags for sales departments, but you can also add colors. Then we have the style editor within IntelliFront. And here you can customize the colors. So if you don't want to have the highlight color as the default blue, um, you can change that to be your corporate colors. You can also change the accent color. So right here we have it as orange, and that's this color right here. You can change it. The other thing that you can change within the style editor is you can change the image. So if you don't want to have the IntelliFront logo up here and you would like to have your company logo, you would simply upload that file and your company logo would be here and you could have all your corporate colors here. So IntelliFront is fully customizable to look um, like your corporate colors, to look like your, your industry. Christian Stevens Software. Bigger data, better business.